the antidote, and I'll give you my antidote. <laughs> and now, take one of those. certain guests that needs a little bit of your fair month dust. So you can do that voodoo that you do so well. Fine. I'll give him my most concentrated dose of fair month dust. Double it. But that would kill him. And then, that will be his last dying words after all. <laughs> Sorry ladies, I gotta take this call. Alone. Scram. <laughs> yes, Lexi, I didn't know you liked that explosion. <laughs> Your money is being well spent. <laughs> but it's necessary to bring Batman out so I can kill him for you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What? Favor? Uh-huh. Uh, Gotham Museum? Uh-huh. Crypto what? Kryptonite? Kryptonite. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Why does Lex Luthor need something like this? Joker is at Gotham Museum. I don't know what he's stealing, but it's probably big and important. Yes, I'm on my way there. Batman now. Survive! Here you go, Mr. J. Thanks. 
Ivy, do you have any suggestions? Why isn't Batman dead yet? I specifically told you I wanted him dead immediately. Batsy is a little slippery little bat. I need time to kill him. Trust me, I'm a man of my word. Really? I'm starting to think I had the wrong man for the job. Maybe you like him so much you want to keep him alive. Batman made me the man I am today. My mission in life is to kill Batman. All I need is time! We'll see about this, clown boy! I brought someone in to join your cause. I ran him over in my Rolls Royce on the way here. His name is Mr. Freeze. What is this? The Ten Men from the Wizard of Oz? That voice, you're the one that destroyed my gun. I borrowed it. It was Batman. It was Batman. He's the one that took it. Well, hello, Freezy. How's it been since Arkham? <laughs> you know him? Yeah. We shared a cell together once. Boy, Ivy, you do get around the park a lot. <laughs> Enough of this! Whoever kills Batman first will receive two million dollars in cold, hard cash. So why do you want to get rid of Batman so bad? Isn't your mortal enemy Superman? Yes it is, my dear. Thanks for bringing that up. I want Batman dead so I can move LexCorp from Metropolis to Gotham. Then I can do all the illegal activities that I want and will have no Superman breathing down my back. What about Superman? After killing Batman, he won't come after you? Superman won't leave Metropolis. There's one thing he'll never leave behind. Her name is Lois Lane. It'll be out of his jurisdiction. Well, I don't like the idea of you coming to Gotham. Your company alone is one of the top polluters of this country. Thank you. I'm very proud of that. Well, I won't stand for that, Lex. As Mother Nature, I won't let you pollute the cities of Gotham with Lex Corp. What are you going to do? Kiss me with your poisonous lips? It's not going to work on me. I have an antidote for that. And for the rest of us, I want Batman dead now! Right now! Don't worry, Harley. I always have something up my sleeve for Mr. Luther. Nobody messes with my town. Master Wayne, you have an important phone call from Metropolis. It's Clark Kent. Clark, what do I owe the pleasure? Hey Bruce, I want you to check on Lex Luthor. He's been flying to Gotham three to four times a week. He's up to something. Don't worry, I'll get to the bottom of this. Alrighty, thanks Bruce, I owe you one. Oh, hi Lois. Alfred. I need Lex Luthor's number. Right away, sir. Lex, you think you can come to Gotham and not pay me a visit? Hey, Bruce. How are you? Good. Are you busy? I was just going to get into my car and go to Metropolis. Because I would like to set up a business meeting with you tomorrow. Well, I guess I can come pay you a visit. Great. Can you meet me at Wayne Enterprises? Proceed in. <laughs> Pretty pompous boy.
Maybe I can get him to join me in Gotham's next door. 